Um, at Amo Estate, which we've been talking about, um, you know, trying to find out what's happening, has escalation started, why it hasn't, what the atmosphere is. Our correspondent, Hasselon Freedom, has the update for us now. The governorship and state assembly elections were concluded on Saturday, and on Sunday, we gathered at the collation centre by 10 a.m., as you already know, Adam Alfred has with one local government area. And the collation started by 10 a.m. And uh, by 4 p.m., about 15 local government areas have been collected and announced. And the returning officer announced another break for the collation to continue by 10 p.m. So by 10 p.m., the collation resumed and about three more local government areas were announced. After which the returning officer announced that the coalition will be suspended until uh, tomorrow being uh, Monday for the continuation of the coalition. That was vehemently rejected by the party agents at the coalition center. So it was the returning officer was forced to continue with the collation. And at the time trouble started, 18 local government areas have been collected and the remaining three local government areas. Then they tried to suspend the collation, but the agents refused. So the collation continued two more local government areas, and one was left, that of Fufure local government area. So far, 20 local government area results have been announced. So trouble started when they refused to announce the that of Fufure local government area and tried to postpone the announcement to the following day. That, again, was vehemently rejected by the party agents at the collation center. Now, uh, Fufu, the local government area, is a place where it is believed that can affect the outcome, the general outcome of the, the results. So that was why there was serious trouble in that local government area. But what actually brought up the controversy was that at the collation center in Yula, uh, in Fufu, the local government area, the center was attacked and the resource sheet was seized by talks. Now that prompted the REC to send a fresh resource sheet to Fufure so that the results will be collated and brought back to the collation center. That was done and it was very late in the night when they came and the people refused that the results must be announced. They tried to shift the results again, uh, the announcement of the uh, for the local government area, but the people refused that the results must be announced there. So that was where controversy and trouble actually started. To cut a long story short, they could not announce the results of for the local government area. As I'm talking to you now, 21 local government area results have already been announced. What is left now is that of Fufure local government area. And the return officer said it will be announced today when the collection results by twice noon. So far, the, when we were leaving the collection center, talks took control of the whole street surrounding the INEC office. Security agencies, the military and other security agencies were around and they were not allowed to leave the, previous, the area. In our attempt to escape from, that, from the INEC office, my vehicle was attacked and the rear uh, windshield of my car was smashed by the talks. We narrowly escaped from the INEC area. So far, we will be returning back to the INEC collection center by 12 this afternoon. But the street, on the, 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 the road leading to INEC has been controlled off by security agencies. Nobody can have access to that place right now. From what I understand is that uh, the place, the whole city is calm, but people are afraid anything can happen. People are very careful how they move out and uh, 
the the crowd outside the city the city is a little bit scant. Not the usual hustle and bustle that you experience in Yola. Some of the state uh, governorship and state assembly elections were concluded on Saturday, and on Sunday we gathered at the collection center 